Thank you for the opportunity to present to you the Disclosure of Representation and Trading Services form. As professional realtors, we believe consumers should have as much information as possible, as early as possible, in order to understand their relationship with their realtor, as well as the responsibilities and duties that they are owed. As such, before providing trading services, we want to take this opportunity to review with you the Disclosure of Representation and Trading Services form, so that you have all the information necessary to make an informed decision on the type of representation you are seeking. The Disclosure of Representation and Trading Services form you have received contains two key sections. The first is to know your options as a real estate consumer. The purpose of this first section is to describe the differences between being represented or unrepresented in a real estate transaction. The benefits of representation. This section covers four key points that consumers need to know before entering into a real estate transaction. First, the benefits of working with a realtor, which includes expert advice, protection, and oversight. Second, an overview of what representation means. For example, as a client, you as the consumer have engaged a realtor to provide services on your behalf. Your realtor will owe you special legal fiduciary duties, including undivided loyalty, avoiding conflicts of interest, disclosing material information, and protecting your confidentiality. Third, an overview of what being unrepresented means. An unrepresented consumer will have no agency relationship with a licensee, which means your realtor is not working on your behalf in the transaction. Your realtor may still provide some limited trading services, which include providing general market information and standard forms, helping people to correctly fill out paperwork, and presenting offers and counteroffers. But they cannot offer any advice. If you choose not to have a real estate professional represent you, you are considered to be an unrepresented party. You are not entitled to the special legal duties a client receives. No loyalty. The real estate professionals involved in the transaction may be representing clients with competing interests to yours. They must be loyal to their clients and not to you. No duty to avoid conflicts. No real estate professional is acting in your interests. No full disclosure. The real estate professionals involved in the transaction do not have a duty to disclose all relevant information to you. No confidentiality. The real estate professionals involved in the transaction must share any information you tell them with their clients. And the fourth and final point. In British Columbia, real estate professionals provide their services through licensed companies known as brokerages. Depending on how the brokerage operates, you will be represented as a client in one of two ways. Most brokerages in British Columbia operate under designated agency. In designated agency, the relationship exists between the client and the realtor they have chosen to represent them from within the brokerage. Should other parties or parties to a potential transaction be represented by another real estate agent within the same brokerage who is not your designated agent, there is no conflict as each real estate agent will be in a designated agency with their respective clients. Only your designated agent owes the fundamental agency duties to you as a client. Your realtor will not share your confidential information with others without your permission. In the event that a realtor has a relationship with a buyer and seller or a tenant and a landlord, the realtor must not represent either party unless they have obtained written consent from all parties. If this happens, a realtor can provide a referral to another designated agent who can provide the client with an agency relationship. The purpose of the last two pages of the Disclosure of Representation and Trading Services form is to document that the disclosure has been made to you, the consumer, and it includes a mandatory checklist and name signature field that the licensee will complete. It also includes an optional checklist and name signature field that may be completed by the consumer. Our brokerage requires that any time we're providing trading services, the form must be completed by the consumer. In order to make an informed decision on representation, please ask your realtor any questions you may have. Once they have answered your questions, you can best determine how you'd like to complete the form. This will enable your realtor to provide you with appropriate trading services.